Hello friends, this video on wind storms and cyclones part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now, it is not only flood or it is not only excess rainfall which can bring such situations. Many other situations can cause disaster. So sometimes you might be surprised that, is it? Do we have such natural situations which can cause so much of damage? Yes, of course. So now in this section, now by now I think you would have got an idea about uh, what causes winds to blow and how much strength wind has that it can make other objects move along with it. So now we will look at those extreme scenarios when the winds become so strong that they can cause damages, they can cause disasters. So we will look at some of those uh, situations like thunderstorms, cyclones, tornadoes. So we will discuss about them. So let's start with thunderstorm. So we have been talking about wind. So how is wind and thunderstorm? How are these two different? So when we talk about a thunderstorm, the name itself says thunderstorm. So it is a storm accompanied by lightning, thunder and also rainfall. So this uh, situation is witnessed immediately after rainfall or during rainfall. Now sometimes there might be less rainfall but there is too much of lightning and too much of thunder, the loud noise which you hear. So, so that is thunderstorm. So during thunderstorm also you will see that strong winds blow and then those winds are really really strong when compared to the normal winds which blow in the evening time or in the morning right. So these are thunderstorms. Now when these thunderstorms become very severe they can also cause a lot of damage. So before we talk about talk more about thunderstorms, I think the first curiosity would be to understand what causes thunderstorm. So let us look at the key factors which result in thunderstorms because we know how wind happens. So that we already got to know which happens due to uneven heating of the earth. Now what causes these thunderstorms? Now there are three important factors which lead to thunderstorms and they are humidity, unstable air and lift. So these are the three important factors. So when I talk about humidity, what is humidity? It is the presence of moisture in the atmosphere. So these moistures are nothing but tiny droplets of water. So this moisture or this humidity form the clouds and these clouds result in rain. So that's why during thunderstorm I said that it is accompanied by less or more rainfall. Now when you talk about the second factor that is unstable air, which air am I talking about? So am I talking about the warm air which expands and therefore becomes lightweight and thus rises above. So this air, so what basically happens is when you talk about the atmosphere, you I mean atmosphere is spread over a uh, a huge height right so what happens is sometimes the air which is present in the lowest layer is very warm and humid maybe because the temperature is very high uh, during hot weather what happens the land gets heated up very quickly therefore air which is present near the land they will also become heat heated up so they will be warm air so what happens is air in the lowest layers so they are very warm Whereas, when you look at the air at the uppermost layers or the upper layers, towards the upper layers the air is very cool. So basically there is a huge temperature difference between the upper layers and the lower layers of air. And due to this temperature difference, these thunderstorms happen. So this is one of the major reasons behind thunderstorms. And then the third factor is lift. Lift is like lifting up anything. What does that mean? To take anything and move it upward. So basically it is an upward rising wind. So winds which are moving in the upward direction. So that is lift. So these are upward rising winds. So now you will see that all these three factors when they are put together they will result in a thunderstorm. So this lift what it does now the wind move, is moving in the upward direction. So this wind will carry water droplets upward. So 
when the water droplets reach above they freeze and fall down again so basically you see it, it is preparing for clouds and rainfall so thunderstorms are most common in the afternoon over land that's because it is during afternoon the lower layers of air get heated up and they become very warm so daytime heating of land by the sun causes lower part of the atmosphere to become very unstable unstable means whenever the air is heated up the warm air is not stable because the warm air tends to move upward so it is not stable it is unstable now as the air moves up along with it water vapor also moves up so that's how cloud formation happens and then that cloud leads to rain so water vapor here acts as a fuel for the thunderstorm because without water vapor thunderstorm cannot happen now <clears throat> when this water vapor is utilized the storm gets converted into a rainfall because the water vapors they condense to form the water droplets which fall to the ground as rain so basically <clears throat> due to this upward rising winds or the lift because of this the upper the warm airs they gradually reach above the water droplets also the water vapor also reach there cloud formation happens as a result rainfall happens thunder happens lightning happens now why lightning happens that is again a little different concept because lightning happens due to the difference in charges of the upper layers and the lower layers of the atmosphere so you will learn about the cause of lightning in class 8 if you want you can refer the physics videos which explains the concept of lightning but basically lightning happens due to the difference in charges so so that, that's how lightning happens. So basically these are the three important reasons behind thunderstorms. So therefore it occurs in hot, humid, tropical regions because why hot regions? Because only then the lower layers of air will be very warm and unstable. So that's how we will get unstable air. Why humid? Because presence of water vapor is mandatory for thunderstorm to happen. And humidity is nothing but presence of moisture in the environment. So only under the only in regions where hot and humid climate exists, thunderstorms are more likely to happen. Now, these thunderstorms can become a cyclone in, under certain conditions. Now, cyclone is again a more, uh, you know, more uh, scary name. That's because if, if, uh, if you have ever come across the news channels or the newspapers, they often say that, you know, cyclone has uh, been reported in this area. And whenever cyclone is, happens in a particular area, it causes huge, huge destruction of life. Uh, property buildings i mean everything gets spoiled so cyclone is a very deadly thing now cyclone is nothing but a severe form of thunderstorm so under certain conditions certain special conditions a thunderstorm can become a cyclone now i am very sure you are wondering what is a cyclone why is it so deadly thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.